So, what's going on, Tim? All right. So you had a, uh, a comment in my um, I don't know, comment section, and you didn't ask for help, but I'm gonna help anyways. All right. So your problem now is my problem. Before we get started, here's what you said, and I just wanna help you out a little bit. So you said here, wave masters are cool to blow off steam, but not as motivational as a real person. Makes total sense. That punches back and corrects your mistakes. Maybe I'm just lazy and need that real life motivation and somebody to tell me my mistakes. Good stuff though, sir. So the first thing I want to talk about is that you said you're lazy and you're, you need motivation. I disagree with that, all right? Because a while ago, I did see one of your posts where you had, I don't know, you're like a, you like a tinker. And you had all these lawnmowers right on your lawn and you basically said, Look, I fix all these lawnmowers, right? The reason I bring that point up is because you gotta be motivated to do something like that, all right? You don't just get up out of your bed and say, I'm gonna go fix lawnmowers unless there was a reason to, right? I would imagine your reason was motivated by money. Now, money, as I would imagine, you know, it, there's a sense of urgency, right? Behind needing money, all right? You have bill collectors, you have bills to pay, you have things that you need in your daily life. So you're always gonna be on that chase for paper. So you're motivated to chase it, right? Cause something is chasing you, all right? Now, just to get that out of the way, to say that you are a motivated person, you're definitely not, not lazy. And wave masters are definitely a cool thing to do to blow off steam. So it sounds like, and I don't take this the wrong way, you're you tend to make decisions based off of your feelings, all right? And that's completely normal, everyone does it. But motivation is a fleeting kind of a feeling, all right? It's a feeling. It comes and it goes. It's like the tide, it comes and it goes. And if you're always making decisions based off of how you feel, you're just gonna be in this kind of back and forth in a rocking chair kind of a lifestyle. That's just how it is. You know? And I'm not saying that to, to say anything about you, right? It's just what I think is my philosophy. So don't take it the wrong way, please. I love you, Tim. And Gary. Alright? Also, what you said was you need somebody there to help you out. You know, it's <sighs> having someone there to help you will always, will always make things easier. When I first started training, I had a brother-in-law who trained with me day in and day out, and I was super consistent. And as soon as he stopped going, I stopped going. You know, we're, we're attached to this idea of the other person being with us, and then once that situation changes, it's gone. We change, right? We forget the reason why we did it. But I want to go talk about the sense of urgency behind your training, all right? Don't forget martial arts is like a sword, all right? It's your weapon. But the thing is, you don't have a sense of urgency to train. There's no one that's coming to collect their money, the mafia or whatever the case is. Someone who is really just on your butt, like, listen, I'm, I gotta talk to you. And someone who's basically on your butt, right? So there's no sense of urgency there. You either train or you don't. But I would imagine that you need something like that to kind of get you going, correct? And I wanna offer this to you. Think of it like this, martial arts is your training and martial arts is a weapon. You gotta keep your sword sharp. The last thing you wanna do is be in the situation where you pull out your sword and it's rusty, it's dusty, and it's dull because you weren't training. So you kinda of wanna prepare for that situation before it happens, all right? And not only that, dude, you know, man, it's martial arts, it's, yeah, it gets boring, but really you're there to train yourself. You're gonna be your biggest enemy, right? And you gotta get over that, and I'm here to help you any way that you know I can. And it starts with this video, so don't take it too crazy. You know, you can literally say whatever you want. Take my friends live, I'm sorry. But the point that I'm trying to make is don't forget that you're training to be a better person on the inside and out. And you'll have weapons that you will take on with you for the rest of your life, and you're gonna stay sharp physically and mentally. All right, and that should be the sense of urgency. So when you need to pull out that sword, it's sharp and not rusty, dusty, and dull. All right, Tim, hope that helped. See you later.